All right, so today we're north of Cedar Rapids. Gonna try for some bass and hopefully maybe even find a bonus muskie somewhere. It'll depend. I've been out here and muskie fish before and haven't had a whole lot of luck, but we'll see. Maybe today will be the day that it changes. So with teaching and, and being in a band, I am pretty busy most of the time, but a couple weeks ago I was fortunate enough to have a Sunday to myself, which I took full advantage of uh, getting out on the water on a lake north of Cedar Rapids to see if I couldn't find some muskie or, or maybe even some good bass up there. Before when I fished it, I've caught some okay bass, but, but nothing other than that, so I figured I would give it a shot with the boat. On this first spot that I'm pulled up on, it's basically just me fishing a wind-blown point in about four foot of water. Essentially your quintessential summertime bass fishing pattern on a big uh, reservoir type lake. The lake itself isn't, I don't know if I, I think it's probably technically a reservoir, but I don't know if I'd necessarily classify it as such. Uh, it's only 400 and some acres, whereas most of the reservoirs in Iowa are significantly larger than that. On this cast, you see me get hooked up. Again, just uh, working the edge of that point with a crankbait. It doesn't get more textbook than that for summertime bass fishing, especially on, on lakes like this or on water you're unfamiliar with. Here I was incredibly pleasantly surprised. Uh, as you can tell by my expression, I was pretty stoked. Now, I was researching the lake before I went out, and on the website, the DNR didn't have smallmouth listed as one of the species within the lake. So when I got there, and the first fish that I pulled out was a smallmouth, having been there before and never caught a smallmouth, I was pretty tickled, especially considering they're not even listed on the website so uh, good little fish got her back in the water and and definitely happy to have her on what was gonna be a really tough day more on that later so you see a slowed down screenshot here of of some wipers and some bait fish that are roaming close to the dam it's just kind of interesting to look at the graph and see what those fish are doing down there and to kind of see uh, what bait is being held. If I was thinking what I should have done in this particular situation was uh, drop a, a musky jig or a bondy bait, something down there really quick to see if there weren't musky sitting below those uh, bait fish, but I wasn't smart enough at the time. So it is what it is. Uh, no musky that day. Here's just some sped up footage of me musky fishing to give you kind of an idea of what it is and it's just a lot of casting and retrieving I talked to a guy who was fortunate enough to catch one that day but in all reality uh, musky fishing was gonna be next to impossible on a day like today uh, post frontal high bluebird skies very little wind to position those fish I mean on reservoir lakes after talking to that guy he he talked a lot about how that wind will really position the muskie and how they'll really relate to that on, on lakes like this because there's not a lot of cover. Now this may be the smallest bass I think I've ever caught on a crankbait. Um, I just I don't even know what to say about it. That crankbait was as big as that little bass. But again, came off of a kind of a windblown point. Not a lot of wind blowing into this particular spot. Uh, just down the way a little bit, I continued fishing the shoreline after that little one in hopes that there would maybe be more or at least bigger ones uh, soon to follow, which it, I guess in a certain context there was, but it doesn't take much to upgrade from a small fish like that. So I was fortunate enough to boat a little bit of a bonus walleye here. I'm sure there are much bigger ones in the lake but I certainly wasn't going to keep a 11 inch walleye <laughs> to eat. So I uh, went across to the next bank after that little walleye and working some unproductive shore, uh, came across 
you know, another little crankbait fish. I don't know if my bait selection was just too small or I needed to upsize my bait selection or if I was fishing too shallow for these fish. I'm not really sure, but for some reason I was dialed in on the six inch bass that particular day, especially when they don't really want to cooperate and go back in the water. So here I come back to the original spot where I caught my first smallmouth. It was the most productive spot that I had been on all day and I was hoping that I would be able to make something happen here as the day was coming to a close and I needed to think about getting off the water so I could be home at a decent time. Um, I was fortunate enough to hook up again on this spot. And even more fortunate that it happened to be another smallmouth. Um, it really, that fish on this spot at this time really made my day, um, on this lake. Um, it would have been, you know, it, it was a really tough day on the water and without this fish in the boat, it would have just been made a hundred times tougher. But to, to get that kind of, um, reward for your hard work at the end of the day, in fishing it it's it's really hard to put into words how much that means and i realize on the advice of one of my friends that he he always says that fishing isn't work and i realize that no fishing is not work in the context of you go to work every day but there is effort that you put into putting fish in the boat whether it's studying a map or making a thousand casts or sacrificing a little time on a Sunday to be out on the water. Uh, regardless, there's something that has to be sacrificed in order to make these fish happen. Now, is it work? Nah, not really. But it sure is a lot of fun, and it's a heck of a lot of fun putting fish in the boat and being rewarded for not only your preparation in terms of getting on the water uh, and, and casting and trying to put yourself in a position to catch fish, um, but it's just also nice to be outdoors and kind of appreciate all that nature has to offer on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. So shortly after that fish, I think I had a wiper follow it back to the boat and whiffed on it. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have that footage because the fish never ate. It would have been really cool to have put that fish in the boat for kind of like a another bonus fish for the day and, and to get the species count up for the afternoon. But anyway, it was it was a good day and uh, albeit tough. But uh, shortly after that smallmouth, I headed back in and this is just kind of a parting shot of how beautiful the sunset was shaping up to be on that particular night. I just figured I'd do a quick video in reflection of my first time out at Palo. I completely forgot to kind of close out the video there um, before I left that, that night. I ran into a guy who was thrown for muskie and, and talked to him for a little bit and I'm hoping and looking forward to getting back out there soon in order to try and chase muskie some more. Obviously on that particular trip they didn't cooperate but I was pretty tickled to find a couple smallmouth considering smallmouth aren't even on uh, the DNR's website for species in that lake. Um, I had one wiper come up and whiff on it at the boat which would have been a cool bonus to catch but unfortunately that fish just didn't quite want to commit to the crankbait um, at that particular time. But anyway, uh, don't want to drag this out, but I'm very much looking forward to getting back out there again and, and hopefully being able to put a muskie in the boat being my first Iowa muskie.